Hi guys, Techman here with another quick update. There's been considerable delay in getting the Leoc 2048 Autile Portable Power Station out to backers in, outside the US and Canada, those backers who are from the EU and the rest of the world. Um, and if you haven't already seen some of my previous videos with regards to the delays, I'll, I'll pop a link out in the description below. Feel free to watch them um, and just follow along to where we are at this moment in time. Now I personally back the Leoc Power Station based on my experience with Leoc AGM batteries and I've generally had an excellent service from Leoc. Uh, the batteries did work well but since moving on to lithium based chemistry cells like lithium NMC and more recently lithium iron phosphate batteries I haven't used Leoc batteries for some time. But this campaign was running very well. You know at the beginning the communication from Leoc was remarkable. They responded to comments, they answered questions Now some units were shipped out after a very short delay earlier this year, perhaps around March, April, and they were the units of the US and Canada backers. I understand some people have received faulty units, but Leoc are actively taking responsibility. Although their customer service could have been a little better and they could have responded to customers with faulty units a lot quicker and made the return a lot easier, they have taken responsibility. So kudos to them for doing that. But there has been delays in shipping out the unit to EU backers and backers from outside the US and Canada. Now these units were initially supposed to be shipped out in March or April but because of the delay they were scheduled to ship out in May. And as with many campaigns that are crowdfunded on platforms such as Indiegogo and Kickstarter there are expected delays. All we ask for is timely updates and regular communication and that's something which shouldn't be very difficult. So as I said these units should have been shipped out in May 2021 to those backers who are from the EU and the rest of the world. However, Leoc decided to hold back on this schedule and the reason behind this was that there were technical issues with the units that were already delivered to those backers who are from the US. So Leoc decided to hold back shipping the rest of the units to check that all units are okay and in working order before they are sent out. There was some discontent from backers from the EU but I believe that this discontentment was largely due to the lack of communication from New York and not the delay itself. Personally I understand sometimes there are unanticipated problems and technical issues which are not picked up by quality control measures and when customers use the units these faults come to surface. But the overcurrent protection or OCP issues that was described by some of the backers should really have been rectified before shipping in an ideal world. And as I mentioned earlier delaying shipping of the remaining units to ensure that all unshipped units are fit for purpose and free from faults is perfectly reasonable. I don't personally have an issue with that at all. All good man, I'm fine with it. The only mistake Leoc made at that stage was that they kept that information hidden from the rest of the backers, those backers who were affected by this delay, right up the moment that they were pressured to release more information. In my personal email exchange with Leoc, they made it quite clear that the new shipping date was the 10th of July. So did the units ship on the 10th of July? Well, you guessed it. The answer to that is no. What? So what's the problem now? Leoc say that they're having problems with finding a suitable career to the EU. I'm very much surprised. A multi-million dollar corporation would certainly have some links and association with some of the largest careers and distributors across the globe. Yet month after production, Leoc are still unable to find a suitable career to the EU. There is absolutely no reason why you can't find a career to ship your units from China to the EU. It's beggar's belief really. I really can't put my frustration into words. Oh no God! No God, please no! 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 If you would ask me, I think all affected backers should be compensated with some sort of partial refund as a token of appreciation for their patience. And as for backers from the US who receive faulty units, I sincerely hope you receive a replacement. Now one thing I will mention in favour of Leoc is that they are actively taking steps to rectify and amend their problems, like refunding backers who wish to back out. So in fairness, I appreciate that they are taking active measures to make amends. If we could just have that bit of transparency and timely updates, it would do their reputation no harm. I appreciate it's your first experience at crowdfunding and at developing a solar generator or portable power station and I guess lessons will be learned along the way. But in order to build confidence in backers, many of whom have parted with the hard-earned cash and savings, things need to be more open and candid. 
You know, I've waited years to hear somebody say that. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, your communication with backers in the early stage was remarkable. And I strongly believe you are able to achieve more sales as a direct result of this communication. So here I urge you and I encourage you to speed up the shipping process to backers still awaiting their units, all the while keeping everybody informed with timely updates. I honestly hope all things work out for you and that backers receive units which are working. And I look forward to evaluating my unit on this channel. Right guys, thanks again for listening. I know it was a bit of a rant and I am a bit frustrated. So take care, thanks for listening and I'll see you in the next one.